Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's winter and I don't know about you guys, but last week we got two snowstorms back to back. So of course I wanted to do a winter wonderland for you guys. Now typically when my clients come to me, they always ask for me to use blue with winter wonderland, right? Typically it's for baby showers that are for boys. Now, in this video, I wanted to try something different because I don't want you guys to see the same thing over and over and over again on my channel. So this time I tried the Winter Wonderland theme with purple. So let me know what you think, okay? Now, before we get into the setup, well actually, this is a tutorial because I walked you guys through step-by-step -step on how I blew up the balloons, connected the balloons, and then added my finishing touches, okay? I also tried something different with my finishing touches. So before I get into the tutorial, I just wanna remind you guys that if you have any questions on any of the materials that I use in this tutorial, please be sure to check the description of this video, okay? I'm gonna list everything that I used in the description of this video, all right? So let's get started. So first things first, I am gonna set up my wooden panel so I can paint it, okay? But I get a lot of questions on this wooden panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it around for you guys. I wanna show you the back of my wooden panel because people always ask me why do I paint it rather than putting a cover over it. So let me show you. This is the stand on the back of my wooden panel. As you can see, it extends outward, okay? So um, let me just put this weight on and now I'm gonna zoom in. So this is the top of my stand. And then let me just show you, I'm just gonna back up here and I'm going slow so you guys can see. This is the bottom of my stand, okay? So I always put a weight on it. And as you can see, it extends outward. So I cannot put a cover on my wooden panel. I have to paint it, okay? But I also prefer to paint it, so therefore I can get the custom colors. So this is the back of my stand for all of you guys who had questions on it. Now let me start painting.
guys, I just want to stop right here to show you the clamps. So I use clamps on the side of my wooden panel and that's how I attach my balloon garland. So I just take two 60s and tie them around my clamps and that's how I attach my balloon garland to my wooden panels, okay? Now, I also use binder clips. So this is the top of my wooden panel. I have a binder clip up there because the top is much thinner than the sides. And then I also wanna show you, um, so do you see these clamps right here? I got these from Home Depot. So um, I'm gonna see if I can find the link for you guys. So I have some five inch balloons here from Tough Tex. This is the color that I'm using, the purple blossom color. So I'm gonna do something different with my five inch balloons this time. So as you can see, I'm taking my hand pump and I am blowing up two of my five inch balloons. I'm gonna take some air out just around it and then I'm gonna tie it together, okay? And now I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna blow up two of my five inch balloons. And then I'm gonna take some air out, make sure it's nice and round and then tie it together. And then what I'm gonna do is just twist this together to form a quad, okay? So here's one quad. Now I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna blow up another quad of five inch balloons. I will tell you guys that I'm gonna be looking for another pump because this hand pump is a lot of work, right? Um, and I think I'm gonna be blowing up more five inch balloons than I normally do. So this hand pump is definitely a lot of work. So just stay tuned for that. I'm gonna start trying out different pumps. All right, so here's the balloons from my next quad and I'm just gonna twist them together. And now I'm gonna take the neck of one of the balloons in one of the quads and tie that to a neck to one of the balloons in the other quad, okay? So I'm just gonna tie that in a knot. And I zoomed in so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, all right? So now I'm gonna blow up more quads and connect them. So as you guys can see, I'm just connecting my quads here I'm gonna start off with using eight quads. So that's 32 balloons in total. All right, so now I have two 11 inch balloons here that I've blown up and tied together. And I'm gonna tie a 260 around these 11 inch balloons. And then I'm gonna take the other end of the 260 and I'm gonna tie it around all of my five inch balloons, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna attach this to my balloon garland using this 260. And then let me show you on this end, I'm just gonna tie the necks around the balloon garland.
version of a purple winter wonderland. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? I have to tell you guys, I just love this shade of purple. If you remember, this is the same shade of purple that I used for my mom's birthday party last year. So if you haven't had a chance to check out that setup, I'm going to put the link for that in the description of this video. But I just love this lavender color, okay? It just so happens that I had a client book me to do a pink Winter Wonderland, okay? So you guys are going to see that set up next week. Be on the lookout for that. Now let's talk about the five inch balloons, guys, because this was the first time that I did my five inch balloons in, I don't know how people, like what people call them. Like I call them like little Lego blocks. Like they look like, it looks like grapes <laughs> or like a chain or like a braid but like it's when you just group the five inch balloons together all in one rather than dispersing them you know through your balloons so let me know in the comments i will tell you guys that i'm not sure if i'm sold on doing my five inch balloons like this like i think i like them you know, where they're more evenly dispersed throughout the balloon garland rather than grouped into one. But I don't know. Maybe this will grow on me, right? Because this is like, when you go on Instagram, this is the way that you see people doing their five-inch balloons now. So I don't know. I may be a dinosaur and I have to get with the times, right? Get with the new. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think? What method do you prefer when it comes to your five inch balloons? I would love to hear from you, okay? Once again, please check the description of this video. Once I take all of these balloons down, I will put the balloon counts in the description for you guys, all right? If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.